What's up everybody? I'm Chris from Gaming Overwatch and uh <laughs> we're playing Soma. Also, happy new year! It is 2017. The pile of shit that was 2016 is finally behind us. I know um Gaming Overwatch, we as Gaming Overwatch said that 2016 would be the year we become great. Slight um miscalculation there. We've doubled our subscribers. That's still about 90. Um Yay. Anyway, <laughs> um, 2017 is definitely, hopefully, possibly going to be a year where, um, well, at the end of 2016, I decided I was going to make a lot more episodes a week of a shit of, of like a, any certain game. Um, most of the people that's, that I started gaming Overwatch with have given up on it or indefinitely gone on a break so there's some stuff that needs to be figured out but um, working on it there's some there's some ideas I have going on right now um, also we're not doing that right now we're doing Soma and we have um, well first off the 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 Dunbat the the whole sort of thingy that we wanted to go underwater with in the, in the trench um, has gone corrupted so it, 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 it spoke and blamed Catherine who's in my the, the, the woman that's in my uh, Omni tool for something she lied or something they said and uh, fell down so we can't get into that thing um, we went into a vent got here and now we need to figure out how else to get down into that trench and find the ark What's this? This is a block of machinery. That's cool. Oh, fuck. That was louder than I thought. Ha. Ooh. You do. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Okay, let's put you in here. Huh? Wait, this isn't... Oh, no! Wow got to the Dunbat before we did, am I right? Well, it was talking. That's rarely a good sign. Damn it. The Dunbat was our best shot. I was really banking on this to work. Come on, we can't quit now. There's gotta be another way. How do you think you did it? How did the team get the Ark down the Abyss in the first place? If they didn't use the Dunbat, the only other way would be the Climber in Omicron. It's like an elevator which supposedly reaches all the way down into the abyss. Okay, so we do that. We go to Omicron and take the elevator. Yeah, okay. Sure. We'll just head over to Omicron and hope there's a power suit that fits you. You know, so you don't implode while in the abyss. <laughs> that does sound useful. All right, let's go then. Wait, what is this place? Seems to be a lot of information on the art here. There's a prototype and everything. Okay. Let's start it up. I want to see how it works. Maybe we can figure out how to get on the Ark. Oh, okay. You didn't know how to get us on? How difficult could it be? Huh, <laughs> that's never a good thing. Okay, let's... Soma. Hey, that's the first time Soma is actually named. Okay, let's wait. Um, so that's cool. I'm not plugging that out. First, check all this shit. Documents. Oh, that's Catherine. Okay. I've decided to finalize the arc with the scans we have. I'm sorry for all of you who wanted to go but didn't get a chance to scan yourself before the project was put on hold. It's been two months since I've had a scan and I don't see how I'll ever be able to win back the support you all showed me when we started the project. I'm sorry. I never meant for anyone to take their lives. It was never my intention to fool anyone. I just wanted to save something. That's permission for Q. Oh, well, that seems to be a similar thing that, um, that we'll have to do then. 
Arc locator. Yep. So, Phi or Tau? I think Tau. It was on Tau. We're still a ways off. Arc attitude survey. To gauge staff opinion, please fill out this short survey. Let's do it. Recently, it was decided that the Arc project would become Pathos 2's last official commitment. The staff has been urged to carry on with their duties despite Earth's catastrophic condition. I think the Ark project is the most logical step towards saving mankind, and that we should spend as much time and resources as needed to complete it. Um, finding another way for us to become spacefaring might have been an idea to get more like actual humans and actual human uh, consciousness on board. I'm not sure if consciousness is transferred as uh, you know with the. Um, with with the, the brain scan, so... Uh, disagree. To embark, every passenger needs to be flushed with electromagnet electromagnetism using a pilot seat. These scanning sessions are known to cause nausea and headaches, sometimes lasting up to three days. I think temporary physical discomfort, no matter how severe, is a small price to save mankind. I mean, yeah... Uh, temporary physical discomfort is fine. The Ark is built to fit a Ranger MK7 probe, meaning it could be shot into space with the Omega space gun, and technically survive for thousands of years living off the light from our sun and distant stars. I think the Ark should leave Earth behind and be launched into space. Yes, definitely. If we're going to do that, then definitely um, make sure it lasts for as long as possible. Blah, blah, blah. The digitalization of humanity is an opportunity to make quantum leap in our own evolution. The people inside the Ark will, out of necessity, be generated from existing genetic, genetic code, but could be altered to allow for cosmetic changes, ease aging, and even prevent death. I think we are at risk of losing our humanity if we were to rid ourselves of disease and our morality. Or mortality. Uh, I strongly disagree with that. Because, personally, I think if I had the option to live forever, I'd no question do it. I don't think death should be regarded as a natural end to things. If we as humanity can conquer it, all the better. There are only 58 people left alive to be stored inside the Ark. A way to diversify and expand the population would be to introduce artificial intelligences that would be, in every way, appear to be human, but with childlike and naive sensibilities. As we continue to explore the nature of intelligence, we may find a way to make them smarter in the future. I think an inferior group, uh, inferior, that word, it's not good, of artificial people would benefit our society. Agree? I mean, technically... Right. Cool. Mm. Okay, let's see... What else is going on? Those are codes. Shuttle, Omicron... For safety, the power suit. Put on the neoprene undersuit and body harness. Check the HPS for any visual damages. Starting with the legs, fix the parts onto your harness and work yourself upwards. Log all the pieces together as you go. Yeah, tap the secure buttons. Don't dive to do. Okay, cool. Wow, that's so cool. It's the whole gang. Approved photo? Really? Who are you saving this for? The world was dead. Thanks, Simon. I thought being an asshole wasn't invented until the 22nd century. Now I know better. Uh... Yeah, that's kind of a dick thing to say. Nothing creepy, uh... 
Okay, so we're gonna go there. Eventually. Don't know what's here. What's this thing? That's just a compound examiner. Costs are used to investigate structural integrity of the UN frameworks. Of course. Could you fit inside it? If I knew what you were made of, it would be a hell of a lot easier to figure out how to get you on the ark. Give me time. Wait, 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 wait! Bit of a tight fit. Can you reach the on switch? What are we doing? Should I be worried about radiation? I think we're beyond that. Interesting. You seem to be one with the diving suit you wear. Everything's meshed together. How's that gonna work with the suit we're picking up at home? Wait! Um, I think they're bigger. You should be able to wear them both. Imaging. Who's that? It looks like the basis for your body is one of my old colleagues. A standard cortex chip for robots, including the data reader and the Ocu torch, has just been forced through the skull. What? Structure gel has fused the whole construction together. Amazing stuff. No, 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 no. Hold on. Back up. I'm one of your old colleagues? Well, your body is. Imogen Reed. That's disgusting. Hey, you can't say that. She was up. like. She was nice to me. Anyway. The Cortex chip is good news. That means we can transfer your mind to the Ark with a pilot seat. Okay, I'm half a dead person. <laughs> yes, it makes sense. Think about it. All those simplistic minds we've run into? Just reviving a dead person doesn't seem to work that well. A robot body seems to make people a bit unreliable. You are the best of both worlds. That is mind slightly creepy. Body. Was um, covering up my face a little bit too much. This should work a bit better. That is okay. This should fit. Uh... Oh. Okay. Okay, let's see if we can free up some men in mirror mirror. Objects. Let's fucking just Yeah, let's do the sun. Uh type soma. Okay, so that is what we need. So, all of these are necessary. Let's just start over. So my home requires sis Raymond and Mo. Yes. Sis interface scan. Yes. Type light uh, water. So we need a light source and water source. Um, so light would be sun. Fluid. And water could be a lake or river. Rigid boy. Yes! Okay, we got something. Try loading a dummy scan. Shouldn't be that difficult. 
difficult. I just want to make sure I understand how the scan data is formulated before we start messing around with the real arc. Okay. Run the simulation and then hit pause while the code is running. It will give me a cross section of the process. Right. We need to pause while the dummy is loaded, otherwise I can't know if it's working or not. You need to catch it while it's being loaded. Try pausing it when the dummy is loaded. No, try again. The dummy needs to be loaded when you pause. Yeah, okay, but what the fuck? Okay. Yes, of course. So precise, so perfect. Nothing like admiring your own work. What? Oh, right. Now what? Are we done here? Can we go to Omicron and get my new suit now? Yeah, we should get going. Want to bring this arc as a backup? Now that wouldn't work. This is just a prototype. Good. I prefer to travel light. Let's go. Don't forget to take me with you. Cool. All right, we had a bit of a simulation there then. Yeah. I want to know where these... I'm guessing uh, these lead to whatever can be on this table. I just wish I could eh, do something with those. Oh well. Alright, let's... I'm guessing I'm not going to be safe in this hallway. This kind of looks... It just, it just gives me the creeps a little bit. And I think there might be something in here with me just because it's dark. And foreboding. And system error, okay. Let's try and not walk in too many straight lines so when we see something we can see it before it sees us. Hey. Okay, no. Nothing inside there with it. That's, that's good. That's not as good. That's some... Okay. Okay, a little heavier. Bah. Bah. Oh, come on! Oh! It works. Fuck. Fuck! Shit. Okay, this is a large area, and I have no idea where I need to go. Okay. Let's first check this out. Sarah, how the hell are we going to make sure the Ark makes it? Every launch is a crapshoot, you know that. I just wish these animals looked better. What do you care? It's just a pack of data, right? Yeah, just a pack of data. Um, survival of the fittest? Okay. What is that sound? 
That can't be good. Way too loud. Oh no. Shit. I'm not protected from anything here. I'm not sure if there is even anything here that I can use. The table seemed to have been... What was that? Okay, so I think we're going to explore the rest of this base um, in the next episode. So, if you like this episode, please click the like button and subscribe to Game Overwatch for more gaming goodness. And remember guys, stay watchful. Break it down.